Good morning. Good morning. Hi, family. Hi. We are, like you already know, in Orlando at the Sheraton Resort Village or something like that. Today is St. Patrick's Day and we are here to Sunday without the girls. It's kind of sad and I've been missing them already, but it's fine. Tomorrow is David's birthday. So we planned on being out here and celebrating that as well as um, just a mini getaway, mini vacation. I think this is probably the longest we've been away for the girls or will be away from the girls. But so far we're, we're not doing that great. You know, we're showing our age and we have been sleeping half the time. But, you know, you don't get that time when you have the baby, so. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. But I want, I, we don't want to force nothing earlier. We have been relaxed, though. Yeah. David had a headache earlier because he'd been drinking. Then the food that we had from yeah. last night. It was more so, it was for food, not the drinking. Yeah. He kind of wanted to lay down and I was, you know, I'm cool with that. Cause then that's my opportunity to sleep. So last night we actually, after we got off here, we ended up doing our darkness to try to order some food. And that was trial and tribulation. So just as a pro tip, if you come to Orlando and you expect to be all out all night, if you're from probably like the Northeast and you're used to things closing really late, that's not the case in Orlando. I think it's even worse here than it is in Tampa as far as stuff closing because mostly everything closes at 2 and most restaurants closes at 11. If you're still trying to order late in those wee hours, your food's not going to be good. Yeah. Even if you can if, if you can get it. Yes, but we didn't actually go to bed till after 3 because we didn't order till 2 and then we were sitting in a tub. We tested out the jetted tub yesterday and that was really nice. Mm -hmm. Gotta get one of those for the house. So I'm so glad we came here because I'm bringing him over to the light of him understanding why I don't need me a tub. I'll be in that tub every night. So now we are about to get ready to go to... Laundry's. Seafood. It's happy hour right now. I don't think I've been here. No, we both haven't been here. Yeah. So our plan is to get some happy hour to start to drink. I haven't been drinking yet because I needed my food level to be right. So uh, when we get there, I guess we'll just show you what's going on, what we drinking, and let's get this party started. Punch. You don't sound like you like it. No, I just didn't expect it. I was expecting like a bitter, but it's funny. Why would you think it's bitter? I don't know. Just the, uh, you are? Just yellow. Usually yellow is like lemon. And oh, no. I ain't expect that. Good drink. Just like a rum punch. Yeah, much longer. This isn't that good. How are the beverages? It's okay. Now here we are looking at the crawfish bread. This was so delicious you guys if you ever come to a laundry's restaurant make sure you try this it was on the happy hour menu and i think it was seven dollars that is the popcorn shrimp it just tastes like popcorn shrimp the cocktail sauce was good though it had a mustard sauce that went along with that and i thought that was okay look at david's face <laughs> it was 10 out of 10 
Now here I ordered the mussels and what David has over here is the coconut shrimp and I guess some onion fries and we just ordered another thing of the crawfish bread. I'm telling you it was really good. As far as the mussels I am actually surprised how much came in this bowl. Um, sorry about the camera angles but um, oh I guess we're about to try the coconut shrimp first. Okay the coconut shrimp came with this plum sauce and that was really great i would have never thought that would have been as good as it was but it was they need to just put some more shrimp on this plate that's the only thing but it is happy hour so i'm not going to complain too much i believe everything right here was between seven and eight dollars that we ordered as far as the mussels go, came with a lot of mussels, but it was really nothing special about the mussels. It wasn't like buttery, it wasn't like crazy season. It just was your average Joe type of mussel. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend it and I wouldn't necessarily not recommend it. It's just kind of like in between, you can do without it type of thing. As you can see here, I'm just testing out the sauce that is on the bottom of the bowl with the garlic bread that they provide. And it was pretty good. I mean, the help with the butter on the garlic bread and the butter that's in the bottom, it was decent. I definitely had better, but it was cool. Like, you know, if you were already buzzed and everything like that, this will probably be actually great until you get f tired of that kind of fishy type of taste that sometimes come with mussels. And one thing y'all get to learn about David is if he procrastinate on responding, whether or not he likes something or not, he probably don't like it. <laughs> it should be a telltale sign that he probably don't like something because sometimes he'll try to play like he likes it, not. Nah, so clearly he just thought this was okay. I guess I gotta drive y'all cause drop David out. Take the sound machine out of our room and use that for Noel. Yeah, that's what I would say. Because she uses the TV. You did. Mm-mm. You did. Mm-mm. Said we gonna cook. We got a kitchen. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to no, take our food. We just gotta figure out what we want. Spaghetti. Spaghetti? Yes. Okay. Y'all, so we in public, y'all. Some things never change. Yeah, somehow I got the bright idea to make sure to cook. And so that our leftovers be pasta 
versus ordering out overnight. It's kind of like a smart idea to me. <laughs> Might as well get a bottle of champagne too. <laughs> Drink at the hotel. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I ain't had your cooking in so long. Lord. I can't wait. Mm -mm. I can't wait. Mm -mm. But yeah, I'm going to be cooking. And the goal is for all this food to chill that we eat on it when we're just sitting in the hotel. So we're not forcing ourselves to go outside when we're hungry. Mm -hmm. And mainly for overnight stuff. So I just want to be clear on that. So I guess I came out with this idea, so I guess I got a person here. So this is a cool little public to do this. This whole aisle is Disney stuff. I would have not thought that Publix <laughs> would have a Disney clothes aisle. They got ears, they got cups and everything. I missed it. I have one similar to this one, so I don't want this one. You got the Mickey on the side. Florida. How are I'll just trying to say Florida again? Florida. Huh? No, they say it weird. Florida. Like every time you, you know a person not from it. From Florida, cause they're like Florida, 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 Florida. It's <laughs> it's Florida. Low rider. It's just Florida. Low rider. All right, so we are sitting down, just waiting on the food to get ready. As you see, I'm in the process of cooking, making spaghetti. So um, I thought it would be a good time to give a summary of our day. So we went to Laundry's, which was, for me, teeter totter. We had a lot of good food. I feel like the food there is great. Yeah. The great. We had, as you see, the crawfish bread. It's 100% recommend. The popcorn and shrimp are good. But it's not like 100% recommend. It's popcorn and shrimp, yeah. in my opinion. If you like cocktail sauce, then I'll upgrade it for me. It's just all right. All right, that sounded like we have a concert right outside our door. Anyway, so yeah, that's how we feel about that place. The drinks yeah. are terrible. Yeah. They didn't do. They don't do the there. drinks no. unless you get wine or something that's bottled. So while we were sitting there, we were looking through TikTok to try to get ideas, which I love TikTok for ideas of places to go because I feel like it's so easy to find areas and places that you're looking for. Because all I have to put in is Happy Hour Orlando in TikTok. I swear it'd be popping up places I ain't never seen before. So doing that, we found this place called, as you see, Neon Beach and i have to say it's really nice Park, parking was a pain parking is a pain but go park behind the building it's five dollars for the whole day but we ordered a drink we ordered a dough whip which was amazing Dole whip was good pina colada it's like an ice cream pina colada with with orange oh yeah it, it's just great order that and then we ordered the frosé which we were not happy that about was a <laughs> as you can see we're not cool with that because it it tastes like hibiscus and sometimes hibiscus is good and sometimes it's not i asked the waiter server server yeah server there you go so basically we had this female but i feel like she doesn't know the menu because i was like does it have a hibiscus she's like no then i asked can she um wasn't there a hibiscus flower on it? It was hibiscus flower on it. <laughs> and it was purple. Yeah. 
So I was like, how did it get its color? <laughs> like she didn't tell, and I'm like, okay. Well, do you have strawberry puree? And then she goes, we got grenadine. And my first thought was like, why would she say grenadine compared to strawberry It's like puree? grenadine, it's like cherry, isn't it? Most of the time, Grenadine don't even have much of a taste. Well, there was another situation where we got somewhere and we're t tolerating a drink. Yeah. Instead of drinking. Yeah. And then after we ate the mahi, we were just kind of like, we know we're done. There's no point. But I still would recommend the place. I would recommend both places, actually. 100% recommend the food at Laundry's. And I do recommend Neon, it's a vibe, and that Dole Whip. And I definitely wanna try more drinks from them. Yeah, we just about to chill here, unwind and be grown old people. Yes. And finish making the spaghetti. We got movies on the TV. <laughs> yeah. We're both gonna jump in the tub at some point. And then have an easy night, cause tomorrow's gonna be a, a long day. Discovery Cove, so. It'll be a good day long tomorrow. Yeah, so. We're probably gonna end this video once I get my food and show you that and head out. But I just wanted to tell you guys what our day, this is technically our day one in Orlando. Yeah, and I really do appreciate you guys for watching and hope you continue to watch. Stay tuned. Mm. See you tomorrow. Bye.